Oh, he he got two copies and with different. The, yeah, the, yeah, one copy with the two scores on the okay. front page. I only get one copy. Did you submit electronically? Yep. See, I did too. You know, <laughs> because electronic has a deadline at midnight. <laughs> I have to take advantage of that. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> So, which problem you're in? The pre predecessor. It's the leader of the time that we're in. Well, this one? I think uh, there's some more factors. Oh, there is one that didn't handle. Let's do that, just a several of You said uh, looking. Yeah. <laughs> That one, I mean, we can solve in both cases. I mean, you did just an. There's a log one. Which one? 4.16. Oh, um, logarithmic. Mm -hmm. Minus. We solved that one, I think. You did? Okay. 4.16, and I don't think we found that. <coughs> really? So, yeah. Just see log. <coughs> I think I'm getting a pretty good idea of it. <coughs> How more definition of that? That's like, well, I'll use a board <laughs> out here. Hey, the entire, does the, the study group session get recorded? Get what? Re get recorded. Oh, really? I think so. It's cool. <laughs> I think so. You can ask the lady. There. You want to you record it? I know, no, no, no. I just wonder if it is being recorded. I think it is. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like the. <coughs> number of bits of limits. What an army of the number of bits of. Yeah, that means the given the num number of bits of input, which is this stuff. take to check if this input is correct or not. So this is, this is the definition of NP. The form of, yeah. Right. Hmm. And now he does, he is, uh, he's asking about uh, to solve this problem, not just a witness, right? So. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean the question is the question is that such properties in P, we we we're, we're given right now that the the witness is right now is log logarithmic, which is now we have this right as a given. <coughs> and now we want to see if solving this problem is in, is in P. <coughs> and P is in P, like the this formal is, definition. This is A, yeah. This is B. Now we know that A is just A. Solving A is, is an P problem, right? <laughs> yeah, so. Now we, we, want to, we want to prove that solving B is in P. Right. Well, before we, before we, I mean, going 
down to prove, formulate that B is in B. Let's see how we got to solve A if we only only given this condition. That would need an exhaustive search. We have to search the entire possible space for the input X to solve the problem. Um, it's like you're only given an. I think uh, there are two two sets of of problems. Yeah, it, one is A, one is B. No, 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 no. The B is a is a check is checked for the yes instance. So each group, there are two groups. Each group, each group has a, an A problem and a, a B yeah, problem. Yeah, that's true. This is the witness problem. And this is the solving. I don't know how to, how to put it, but this is just checking a given answer if it is true or false. That, that is actually solving the problem given you have to work out the solution yourself. Right? Is that, is that what you mean? What's the cardinality of uh, x? Now we don't know the, the witness. <coughs> right? How are we going to to go from witness to sol actually solving the problem? And we, we are not given any other Deep specific information of what this problem is, so we have to exhaustively search the whole space to check every possible answer if that is in, if that is the right answer to actually solve the problem. So in my dear, solving problem here will be exhaustively ask every possible input to see if that is in right answer so that we can can really solve the problem from scratch. So that I, I put it more clearly, is it that would would that would just be let's say he's talking about bit of input, so that that will be let's say it's binary. It will be I mean, checking each witness takes for a number of time, and there are so many possible answers to check. Only when you check all of them, you are sure you have solved this problem. I don't think the two to the polynomial x is the is the number of possible solutions. Why? Why now? Because uh, that means two to the w actually, right? Mm -hmm. You mean the polynomial x is w? Yes, that's just the yeah. The two to the w w is just a one uh, yes instance. Yep. But how can you say two to the w is uh, our is the num is the amount of our possible solutions? Because it's it, here is that it's just the size of the of what yes is, right? It's just the size of it. No, no, no. He said so it's, it's a length. Length, the bits, right? 
Yes, it's the length of this of one, just one yes instance. Just one instance. So, for here, one possible, let's say it's, say, say, let's say it's three bits, okay? That's one possible? Let's just say one possible yes instance, yes instance has three bits yeah. of information, okay? Yeah. So, let's say probably one, one yes instance will be zero, zero, one, okay? That's just one instance of this yes, yes, no question, right? I know what you mean. And now, if you take two to the power of three, you have all the possible combinations of, see what I mean? You, you have zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 and all, all the stuff covered. I'm just count, counting how many are there, and each of them is bounded by the polynomial time. I think I just to say there are, uh, but at, mo at this most, it's uh, already given, so it's just one instance. Do we need to count how many? With because we wanted to solve the problem, this is what I'm saying. We wanted to solve the problem. We, we, we're not just interested <coughs> in un uh, as, uh, answering yes no question to one specific given instance. Right. That's just a witness. We want to completely solve the problem, so we have to consider every possible. I know. Answers, no, I know, I know. Yeah. So that you can fully <coughs> answer the question, because in the worst case, it may be there may be no such answers, right? I so mean, you mean you need to count all the possible witnesses? Oh yeah, if you if you count all the possible witnesses, you're for sure to cover the whole problem, right? Yeah. That's the worst case. Actually, you mean uh, there are the most two, the, two to the. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how we came from with this problem to actually solving it because it's essentially much easier than right. I don't know how to put this. Easier than checking. So the witness solving, is just right? one instance. Yeah, we are coming from checking one instance to solving the whole problem. That's what I think what he's asking for such properties. In what's the meaning of in in this model? What's the, the meaning of property? I think this is just confusing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it as solving the problem, not just checking a yes, no instance. So if you look at, look at it in this way, it will be pretty <coughs> obvious that right now, there will be only And checking each instance is still polynomial time, right? That, 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 that is definition of P, NP, right? So in this case, it would just run into together to, to be a polynomial. That's like how, how I understand it. Okay. This, and it seems to work out pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the property is this kind of thing. What, what, what did who what did said? That last time you uh, we argued this, this question for a very, very long time. But yeah, yeah. We, at the time, I, I'm not so clear about this checking and solving relationship. Yet. I'm, we were kind of messing up with, we, we should actually have a yes-no question. <laughs> <laughs> He's arguing that a witness is a yes-no question, but the, the same is for solving, like, is there a, is there a you know, like, Hamiltonian pass? Yeah. It seems like a yes no question. So he, he's saying it's, it's the same as a witness. <laughs> so, but it's actually actually not. So if you guys look on page uh, 112 at the top, does he kind of answer the question? 1, 112. 112. 112. Oh, yeah. So he, does it sound like he kind of already answers the question? And it's exactly what Andrew just yeah. wrote up there. It's two, so in our case, it would be 2 to the log. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. and then it says, if you can check all of them by running B on each of them, mm -hmm. and there's a polynomial number. Yeah, is that exactly <coughs> what's going on here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's
Do you know when are we going to meet in Ferris? Uh, three thirty, I think. Three thirty. Wow. What happened? Did the teacher not come? Or did you didn't you receive the email? Oh no. Yeah, most of it, it's going to be studied in the session. Oh. Right. I didn't get it. <laughs> That's a meeting or something. Yeah, I see. So now is the cellular autometer predecessor problem. Zero, one, so zero, possibly many, probably no, none. The lattice means a uh, line of code. Yeah, just this string. A uh, string and uh, uh, just a tape. A, the a equals f a prime means a is the next step of a prime. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's just a tape. Just go back one time step. Because going forward is trivial, you just apply the rule to that. But every neighborhood, right? But going back, zero, zero probably. Oh, means there are state. So that means there could be contradiction. There could be many state. There but could be none. No state. There could be no at all. It's just, it's just like finding a Hamiltonian path if zero is a path. Zero may be multiple paths, right? <coughs> I just got here. Yeah, we're just having a set of group here. <laughs> Probably we'll just move to the lab after this one. <laughs> it's kind of too, too, too big for us. <laughs> So, yeah. so Saran, so the T get updated from the top and bottom, I mean above and below cell. No, it's it's one dimensional, so it's only a tape. You only got neighbors on the right hand, left, no neighbors on top. Yeah. Okay, you apply function F. But the exercise 5.7 says show that for one dimensional mm -hmm. instead of top. That's a one dimensional sort of. So it says in a line. This is line. Yeah. Okay. To make it easier. Reachability. What is the reachability? Mm -hmm. What is the reachability? Reachability is just a, a graph. A, a so graph. Other two ones can reach yeah, each other by some multiple edges. <coughs> reduction in nature. I, I didn't see any relationship between them. 
But in that case, building, I mean, the re reduction of the problem will, will be exponentially, will, be ta will take exponential time, right? Yeah. Because there is exponentially large number of states, possible states. Yeah. His idea was that each possible each states. time step mm -hmm. was a uh, node in the graph, mm -hmm. and then whether you could reach from using reachability, if you could go from one time step to the next, mm -hmm. that means that's a possible link. Yeah, mm -hmm. link. <coughs> but I, I think it's kind of too powerful because in that model you will be able to find not only the very pre previous step, but every, but every any possible. Yeah. Is there some way to maybe limit the number of edges by saying, using the constraint that we know that it's only in one dimension, we know that? Do you remember, yeah, do you remember that the, the, the problem that we had to solve using the greedy algorithm, the homework one, where well, we had to draw, we had to draw this? Uh, you mean the? Type oh, the type setting. Type setting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And do we have to like um, convert it to a graph? Yep, yep. We we and do it by convert it to. A, but then, that, but we re re reduce it to a shortest path mm -hmm. problem, right? Mm -hmm. And then shortest path is somewhat reachability problem. No, because we are trying to minimize the cost at that time. Mm -hmm. So we, we kind of re reduce it to a similar problem, which is shortest pass, mm -hmm. and a minimization problem. I don't see it, any he optimization say, here. Didn't he say we have to use a gradient algorithm? Or is it different? No, he said, he, he said oh, dynamic, dynamic programming. OK, dynamic programming. Well, uh, is this is certain for one-dimensional cellular automata that uh, uh, certain bits in the previous step can determine one bit in the next step. Is it certain? You can use one to one mapping if you want. So, I mean, this certain bit means, say, in our textbook, there are yeah, three bits. Yeah. But, but it seems like there's on, always more. I mean, it can be one to one map, but never be one to three yeah. mapping. I, I mean, uh, constant, constant bits. Yeah, it's constant. Okay. It's because the ruler ruler determines this. Determines constant. Yeah. How depend? It can be. I mean, one row is using two neighbors. The other one is using larger one, but they're set. They don't change over the time. Uh, even the piece? No. Yeah, I mean. Then they must be the same, right? Say so if I want to use three bits determine. One bit, they must be all the same. Oh, all I see. The, all there will be contradiction. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you're you're right. That, that's the formal definition. Because here are some variations. Yeah, you can you can specifically say this this digit is going to use. I mean, something will arrive. Here is a formal definition. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just one example that with a neighbor size of three. Mm -hmm. Possibly possibly all will be five. You know, like that. <coughs> all will be four. That's possible. But I don't think that's kind of good here. Yeah, the, the point is the rule are applicable. You universally to all of the individual cells, they are equally treated.
predecessor, right? That means that you are reversing backwards, right? Mm -hmm. right? So reversing yeah, backwards. Yeah, you're right? going backwards. So from the T step where you are, and the, you're trying to figure out what T minus one step is, right? Yes. Idea. Uh, I have a good idea. Let's say this is our uh, our T T stuff. Mm -hmm. I have one zero one. One zero, one zero one, like this, and uh, we build as t minus one stuff as uh, zero. So all the first line is zero, and all the second line is one. Say so for for each bit, say so <coughs> here here's one, we find every possible. That one in the center. Okay. Say, I need, I need a book. Say, what's a condition we can get one is, say, O O one means for this for this bit, O O one is we get this O and this. We get the O O and O one like this. And uh, O1, 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 is like this. And uh, build all these puzzles. And uh, then, can there will be a, a net like this? And uh, we use here, this is the end. And we use here, this is the start. This is the wider start cut, which is the end. Is whether there is a solution. I didn't quite quite listen to you. So, so. why does it work? So, so what are the two strings? One zero zero. This is the second step. Okay. This is the first step. Mm -hmm. the, the first line of the first step is all zero. Oh. The right. second line is all one. All ones. It's okay. all ones, and. Uh, for a certain bit, so this bit, we just care, this is one, we just care how we can build a one from all these three bits. Say this three bits. Do you have a darker marker? It doesn't look like it's showing up very well. Okay. Oh, it seems. Yeah. And is it using cap? Yeah, that cap. If we use that wide end, use the big end, it'll show up there. Okay. Yeah, we will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Pos say uh, that that's all possible ways to satisfy this bit, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So how can I satisfy this two bit? Is we can find a path from here to here, and we don't care. We don't care. If you use a bigger the, n. The other two bits, what? Huh? If you use a fatter n. Okay. And we, we don't care whether this one is zero and one, and whether this one is zero and one. But we care they must be the same. So if this one is start from here, we couldn't use it. Another path start from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so how do you determine zero is a pass in between? Only when... It's reachability, right? Here to here. Okay. It's a reachability question. But how, when did you add an edge in those nodes? Okay. So from, from the rule, we, we must have a rule. Okay. Here we use the three bit rule. Mm -hmm. that's, that's for example. Okay. Four bit is okay, five bit is okay. Yeah. Right? They are infinite, right? Mm -hmm. Constant time. So for the rule, say, we determine this, uh, this one. This one is, is one, right? Yeah, zero. What can satisfy four this possible. bit is one, yes, four possibles. And we build it from this, this bit to this bit. Oh, I see. Build four, four possible paths, passes. OK. OK. And uh, we use this one. Our build four possible passes. They couldn't be con contra contradict. But I mean, yeah, I see what you're doing here, but only one bit shifted. It seems like if zero is in pass from stat to n, uh, what I'm wondering here is like, is this one possible rule, let's say, some possible rule like this? Here mm -hmm. and for, for this bit, it, it take the other rule here. So it's kind of a contradiction here. Which, which no, no, we we we, we can't we can't use we can't use this one because you cannot go back and you cannot go oh. from here to here. So actually, when you're done with the first bit, you are kind of based on second bit updating the possible rules. Is that what you mean? I mean, for example, if zero zero one will lead to one, but if we have this pass is not compatible with this bit, so this yeah. pass is erased. Is that what we mean? Uh, you mean? You, you, can, you cannot erase them, but they are useless. Let's say, if, if, if there is no, no such a pass, what's the meaning of you build one? And then no such a pass, what's the meaning of you build one from the zero? You cannot reach the point. So even you build one, it doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, Let's say one one possible route for this bit one is zero zero one, and for this one is one zero zero. Not good. If, if if the rule is like this, you couldn't reach here, because for this one is zero zero one, right? And for this one is from one, but you didn't reach one. Oh, let's say let's say there's another rule here. Yes. So you can. So zero one zero. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, I see. So if there is a path, that means for each bit, you can get three, this three bit satisfied. Is it right? Yeah, so that kind of contradiction actually means there's no such route. Sound, sounds reasonable. If there are multiple paths, that means you, are, you have multiple solutions. That's also possible, right? You could I think we can say that we're get from right. many well, kinds of previous steps from this certain step. Not, just like and if, if there is no path, not a rich, rich ball, from start to end, that means you have no solution. Yeah, in that case, this happened because this neighbor and this neighbor. What happened in 19 is that people have a So I don't know if we can say that. That's not. Yeah, but Let's we, we, we can't see. even take the uh, change charge there this time because it depends on the function. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is a directed graph. You can't go back. Okay. That will always happen. Mm, I 
why? Because you're in pain space in this condition? Is it time? Is it time? So, that's not the end of it. What happened? You can try it half an hour. Okay, now. It, it seems to be this. Always this. Okay. What I'm saying here is. Let's see. Yeah, it let's needs see. to be. What is? They need to somehow impact. It seems like some number of bits. Still to get oh, some value. Yeah. Two more overlapping here. Uh, yeah. It's still going to reduce it down. What if? Okay. Let's say one is okay. like this: zero, zero, one, and the other is possibly. Like this, uh, zero, zero, 001 again, okay? Mm. It seems it should be in, incompatible, right? Why is it incom incompatible? Because for this one, you need this one to be in the past. And for this one, that sort of, you know, jump it over, you know, skip it. Oh, I know what you mean. Seems like you know. Yeah. Even if zero pass, it's not a guarantee that both of them will be satisfied. Right? Okay. Uh, you just don't have this, this kind of kind of pattern. That way. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Because the rule is certain for each bit. Yeah. So you can draw this graph, but perhaps this cannot be hashed. But, but this is exactly what's happening, right? Well, let's assume that one is only possible with yeah. zero, zero, one. The other all zeros. Okay. So that's kind of valid rule, right? Uh, that's kind of valid rule, right? But in this case, you're making a, a path, but actually it's, it's not. There's no possible I see. predecessors. I think we, we need sort of a little bit change here that uh, to make something like this possible. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just just make those. Okay. Two before, three before, whatever you want. Uh, you can't look in the other direction. You have to go. I, I think just build it like this one. Is that okay? So we yeah, have, you have no links between. We have we have for previous step we have six six lines zero one zero one zero one. Okay. We have six steps and this one marks the previous. This one marks the next and then zero one zero one zero one. There will, will be a path from here to here, from here to here. That's the only path between these columns. What do you mean again? Hmm? You mean this is the... This, this is one bit, right? The upper is t minus 1. R is p, t minus 1. Okay. And the lower is t. Uh, this is one bit, this is one bit, this is one bit. For each bit, we have six groups. Okay, okay. Why is it six though? Hmm? Why is it six? Because you need to mark uh, the previous step and uh, the next step. So there's zero, one, from here to here. Here it is. That's what we have built. And that's the uh, what do you mean? Mean? Uh, are these rules? No, these are no, not rules. These are built be before the rules are built. So we, 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 use, we build this graph. This cannot be reached, right? OK. This cannot be reached at the first. And then we add the edges here. Why we build this one? This can make it satisfy the last bit of, the, of this bit and the next bit from this bit. Is the same of no not draw like this. It should be draw like like this. Yeah. Next piece of this one is the same as this one. And uh, the previous 
No. Oh, I see what you mean. From this to one. I think it's compared. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Oh, perhaps we can limit one this group or this group. Where are the cis? Because they are the same using. This can make this satisfy that all all the are the compatible. The rules between all these are compatible. So So you're, you're saying you're actually remembering one or two neighboring states so that just we can kind, of, kind of sort of chain them together? So yeah, so, so then how, how are you going to do with this example? Just add two, two rows onto that. Let's see how, it, how it's working. Uh, I think to make it a little bit easier, we're not simply making so something confusing here. But instead, we make make other possible states like like this one that, that we said is. We just make a node here that which is zero zero one, right? And the other one is whatever. Give me another example. Zero one zero, okay. And the connectors are zero one zero. And for this one, we put zero zero one, one zero zero. And okay. it is all the possible neighborhood configurations. Compare two bits, you mean? Yeah, and when will it be a link? Only when the first two, the last two of the previous one and the first two yes. will match, you add a link there. Not this one, but <laughs> definitely this one. There will be a link between the two, right? Yeah. And there will be bounded by the number of rules, the size of the mm. number of nodes in each, for each cell will be bounded by the number of rules. Let's say it's, it's n. And the whole number of is, well, small n, <laughs> I don't know. So it's still polynomial, right? Polynomial yes. number of nodes out here. And then it becomes a reachability problem, which, can, which is can be solved like in P. In P, yeah. So it's P, so, so it's still in P. Does that sound good? Yeah. But all possible is to, to be. There's eight possible, each row is going to be eight. Yeah, the here it will be bounded by two to the three, right? Right. And then whenever you see... But it's constant, mm -hmm. right? Because the rule, rule is, side of a rule is not growing. The rule is fine. What is the equilibrium state? <laughs> what equilibrium state? So 
So whenever you go to the next T-stamp, that's when you make a link between two. Yeah, only when the last two bits last two bits of the previous step matches the first two bits of the next step. Um, not next so step. You shift it. N the next position, there will be a direct directed edge. Why is that? Why do the two have to match? Because that's why those two are compatible. Yeah. And you can, like the, in, in this case, oh. it will be zero, zero, one, zero. That's right. You need to one, one. Yeah. Right? If you, if you use one bit, you need to compare two. Yeah, yeah. Query, query's version is actually compares only one bit, right? That's yeah. not, that's not enough. For, for uh, between two bits, you must compare two. Yeah. If, if you use that, it has uh, mm -hmm. zero, zero, one is the first oh, two. one. And okay. <coughs> the second two would be zero, mm -hmm. one, zero. But that, that's for this specific case. So we have to say that for a general case. Well, you, you just, for any given state, say, A, Right, uh, a prime, right? Is it? A, we we're looking for a prime, right? Yeah. Given any a, we can build this reachability graph in polynomial time and solve it, right? Mm -hmm. That's all. What he's asking. The, the the whole argument here is building a graph first for yes. a specific pro, pro problem and solve it. Mm -hmm. So if it's a different problem, we'll build another graph. Just. But we use the same algorithm. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm just wondering, what, what is the dy dynamic programming approach? Or oh, it was too rich. Yeah. You're not using dynamic programming here, right? So we use dynamic programming. <laughs> Let, let's work on the rest first. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost three. Are we going back to the? Yeah, I'm going to go uh, to the top right now. Sure. Yeah. I'm going there. Hope that is there. Mm -hmm. Hope that is there. Is does he have any? No, he's greater than the ones. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? I have to pick up my homework. Yeah. I hand it back last time. It's half graded, but actually, uh -huh. because I handed it electronically, okay. each grader printed its own version and grade graded separately. So I actually have to pick up two copies of my homework. One copy. You mean for this course? Or I don't yeah, for this course. You got you got two grades, right? Yes. Yeah. Paper. Because because you handed handed it in handwriting, so they have to, you know. Oh, I know. All the way back to the electronic version. Uh, I emailed it. Oh, two days you got it. Yeah. He got it. He got it. How did you get? He mailed it back to you, or no? You um, went to his office. In the stack, there were two two papers in there. Yeah, they go through uh, and get both of them. Oh, guess I just uh, I just missed it. No, you only got one. No, no, I, I'm I'm actually not looking for the second one. You know, oh. as soon as I find the first one, uh, you, you left. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Zero actually. You know, I didn't either. But putting on separate copies. <laughs> Mine were close by, and I saw them. So. Oh, <laughs> yeah. probably. And, yeah, I think those two that probably you brought more. Yeah, probably it was zero, but I'm, I, I I was just not looking for it. Mm -hmm. I didn't come on Thursday. <laughs> Oh, Thursday he brought one stack. Oh, and that's I think the Tuesday brought another stack. So where's the stack? Oh, okay. It's um, in the office. That's what I'm going to look for. Okay, yeah.
真是一点都没好。我靠！石伟，被忽悠了。没事儿，我们自己，没人跟我们玩，我们自己玩。写题目是马上也可以完成，赶上一把教授的感觉，是吧？赶上一把教授的感觉。就咱们俩。王比哥他们。啊。那个飞了几位有人？你没你没去。我没去。你两点半是什么意思？你说两点半？不是。他们应该说三点半嘛。啊，对对对，三点半的开始。上次咱们结束的时候不是说约定三点半？当时不知道，不知道这个事。这是可取消了是吧？对啊。他们有没有提前？他们不会直接就去了？我觉得应该在那边跑过来干嘛？<笑>稍微等会儿吧，稍微等，两两点半过去啊。你看你们改还，你们改成奥奥迪的这课？没有，我改成帕森的费了。哦，帕森的费了。就不会给我 A B C， 不会影响这些的。啊。费了也没关系。费<笑>了。他他就都是我。他就不算 credit。OK。就给你个成绩。反正你也不需要是吧？对呀、啊。咱们今天是军随了。没有，反正理论性这么强。嗯。One two three three now. Can can use. Up one for the moment. Oh, we can just go to the third floor. The first floor, the third floor. Yeah, we just, I mean, give it another half an hour or so, then we will do it. I'm just wondering if someone like you is coming. <laughs> Me. Uh, I wanted to pick up my homework. That may be why I'm here. Oh, I see. But. Did you pick up all your homework? No, not yet. And it, he sent out an email saying that. Did you two, come? Two yeah. Did you come Tuesday? Hmm? Did you come Tuesday class? Yeah, yeah, but I, I only get half of the, I'm the last eight grade. I have no grade for the first seven, so I hand it back. Oh, I see. I I heard that the uh, the the guest. I mean, yeah, he's saying that there's another copy probably. Yeah, so the. So you have to merge those two. Yeah, if you submit it electronically, I guess both of the graders print them out separately. Own version. Yeah. See. So uh, I guess there is another stack of homework that Amita, that's his name, right? So another uh, grader. The first. Which print. office is he? I guess he's right next to um, his office, right next to Chris Morse. Chris Morse, okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah, try to pick it up. Oh, I see that why. Yeah, I handed me electronic place. So. Yeah, so like you know so, the what's yeah. his name, um, Blake. He got both of the scores, and I think he turned it in in the class. Blake, one of the why, why? students. Yeah, the, that's why he had a two scores. 
Oh, he he got two copies and with different. Yeah, yeah, one copy with the two scores on the okay. front page. I only get one copy. Did you send it electronically? Yep. See, I did too. You know, <laughs> because electronic has a deadline at midnight. <laughs> I have to take advantage of that. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> that one, I mean, we, we can solve in both cases. I mean, you just in. There's a log one. Which one? 4.16. Oh, logarithmic. Mm -hmm. We solved that one, I think. You did? Okay. 4.16, and I don't think we found that. Now we want to see if solving this problem is in, is in P. And P is in P, like the this formal is, definition. This is A, yeah. This is B. Now we know that A is just A. Solving A is, is an P problem, right? <laughs> yeah, so. Now we, we, want to, we want to prove that solving B is in P. Right? Well, before we, before we 
before we I mean, go on to prove, formulate that B is in B, let's see how we got to solve A if we only only given this condition. That would need an exhaustive search. We have to search the entire possible space for the input X to solve the problem. Um, it's like you're only given an... I think uh, there are two, two sets of, of problems. Yeah, one is A, one is B. No, 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 no. The B is a, is a check is checked for the yes instance. So each group, there are two groups. Each group, each group has a, an A problem and a, a B yeah, problem. Yeah, that's true. This is the witness problem. And this is the solving. I don't know how to, how to put it, but this is just checking a given answer if it is true or false. That That is actually solving the problem, given you have to work out the solution yourself, right? Is that, is that what you mean? What's the cardinality of uh, X? Now we all know the, the witness, <coughs> right? How are we going to, to go from witness to so actually solving the problem? And we, we are not given any other deep specific information of what this problem is. So we have to exhaustively search the whole space to check every possible answer if that is, in, if that is the right answer to actually solve the problem. So in my dear, solving problem here will be exhaustively ask every possible input to see if that is the right answer so that we can, can really solve the problem from scratch. So that I, I put it more clearly, is it, that, would, would that would just be, let's say he's talking about bit of inputs, so that, that will be I say it's binary. It will be and we are assuming that so many problems in problem number is fine. So it's exponential. So here, I mean, checking each witness takes quite a number of time. And there are so many possible answers to check. Only when you check all of them, you are sure you have solved this problem. I don't think the two to the polynomial x is the is the number of possible oh. solutions. Why? Why not? Because uh, that means two to the w actually, right? Mm -hmm. You mean the polynomial x is w? Yes, that's just the yeah. The two to the w w is just a one uh, yes instance. Yep. But how can you say two to the W is uh, our is the num is the amount of our possible solutions? Because it's it, here is that it's just the size of the of what yes is, right? It's just the size of it. No, no, no. He said so it's, it's a length. Length, the bits, right? 
Yes, it's the length of this of one, just one year's instance. Just one instance. So, for here, one possible, let's say it's, say, say, let's say it's three bits, okay? That's one possible? Let's just say one possible yes, instance. Yes, instance has three bits yeah. of information, okay? Yeah. So, let's say probably one, one yes instance will be zero, zero, one, okay? That's just one instance of this yes, yes, no question, right? I know what you mean. And now, if you take two to the power of three, you have all the possible combinations of, see what I mean? You, you have zero, one, zero, zero, one, 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 and all, all the stuff covered. I'm just count, counting how many are there, and each of them is bounded by the polynomial time. I think I just say there are, uh, but the at, mo at most, it's uh, already given, so it's just one instance. Do we need to count how many? With because we wanted to solve the problem, this is what I'm saying. We wanted to solve the problem. We, we, we're not just interested <coughs> in un uh, ask, uh, answering yes, no question to one specific given instance. Right. That's just a witness. We want to completely solve the problem, so we have to consider every possible. I know. Answers, no, I know, I know. Yeah. So that you can fully <coughs> answer the question, because in the worst case, it may be there may be no such answers, right? I so mean, you mean you need to count all the possible witnesses? Oh yeah, if you if you count all the possible witnesses, you're for sure to cover the whole problem, right? Yeah. That's the case. You, actually, you mean the, there are at the most the, two, two to the. Yeah, yeah. That's that's how we came from with this problem to actually solving it because it's essentially much easier than right. I don't know how to put this. Easier than checking. So the yeah, solving is just right. one instance. Yeah, we are coming from checking one instance to solving the whole problem. That's what I think what he's asking for such properties. In what's the case. meaning of in in this model? What's the, the meaning of property? I think this is just confusing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm taking it as solving the problem, not just checking and yes, no instance. So if you look at look at it in this way, it will be pretty <coughs> obvious that right now there will be only and checking each instance is still polynomial time, right? That that that, that is. The definition of p and p, right? So, in this case, it would just render to together to, to be a polynomial. That's like how, how I understand it. Okay. This, and it seems to work out pretty well. <laughs> yes, the property is this kind of thing. What, what, what did what did the who said? That last time you. Uh, we argued this, this question for a very, very long time. But yeah, yeah. We, at the time, I, I'm not so clear about this checking and solving relationship. And I'm, we were kind of messing up with, we, we should actually a yes, no question. <laughs> He's arguing that a witness is a yes, no question. But the, the same is for solving, like is zero, is zero in, you know, like Hamiltonian pass, yeah. It seems like a yes no question. So he, he's saying it's, it's the same as a witness. <laughs> so, but it's actually actually not. So if you guys look on page uh, 112 at the top, does he kind of answer the question? 1, 112. 112. 112. Oh, yeah. So he, does it sound like he kind of already answers the question? And it's exactly what Andrew just yeah. wrote up there. So in our case, it would be 2 to the log. Oh, yeah. X, and then it says if you can check all of them by running B on each of them, and there's a polynomial number. Yeah, is that exactly <coughs> what's going on here?
Do you know when are we going to meet in Ferris? Three thirty, I think. Three thirty. Well, what happened? Did the teacher not come? Or did didn't you the receive the email? Oh no. Yeah, most of it, it's going to be studied in the session. Oh, right. I didn't get it. <laughs> That's a meeting or something. Yeah, I see. So now is the cellular predecessor problem. Zero, one, so zero, possibly many, probably no, none. The lattice means a uh, line of code. Yeah, just this string. A uh, string and uh, uh, just a tape. A, the a equals f a prime means a is the next step of a prime. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It is a tape. Just go back one time step. Because going forward is trivial, you just apply a rule to that. But every neighborhood, right? But going back, you're, you're probably. Oh, I there are state. So that means there could be contradiction. There could be many state. There but could there be none. No state. There could be no at all. It's, it's just, just like finding a Hamiltonian path if zero is a path. Zero may be multiple paths, right? <coughs> yeah, we're just having a set of group here. <laughs> Probably we just move to the lab after this one. <laughs> it's kind of too, too, too big for us. <laughs> So, yeah. so Saran, so the T get updated from the top and bottom, I mean above and below cell. No, it's it's one dimensional, so it's only a tape. You only got neighbors on the right hand, left, no neighbors on top. Yeah. After you apply function F. But the exercise 5.7 says show that for one dimensional mm -hmm. instead of top. That's a one dimensional instead of top. So it says in a line. This is line. Yeah. Okay. To make it easier. Rechability. What is the rechability? Mm -hmm. What is the rechability? Rechability is just a, a graph. A, a so graph. Other two bodies can carry yeah, each other by some multiple edges. <coughs> reduction seem nature. I I didn't see any relationship between them. Last time is the last 
reduce to a reachability. So let's go to the reachability. I, I think the idea that Vu had uh, was good for reachability. But in that case, building, I mean, the re reduction of the problem will, will be exponentially, <laughs> will, be ta will take exponential time, right? Yeah. Because there is <laughs> exponentially large number of states, possible states. Yeah. His idea was that each possible each states. time step mm -hmm. was a, a node in the graph. Mm -hmm. And then whether you could reach from using reachability, if you could go from one time step to the next, mm -hmm. that means that's a possible link. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Link. <coughs> But I, I think it's kind of too powerful because in that model you will be able to find not only the very pre previous step, but every, but every any possible. Yeah. Is there some way to maybe limit the number of edges by saying, using the constraint that we know that it's only in one dimension, we know that. Do you remember? Yeah, do you remember that the, the the problem that we had to solve using the greedy algorithm, the homework one, where well, we have to draw, we have to draw this. Uh, you mean the type setting? Oh, the type setting. Type setting. Mm -hmm. And do we have to like um, convert it to a graph? Yep. Yep. We we and do it by convert it to. Uh, but then, but we. Redu reduce it to a shortest pass mm -hmm. problem, right? Mm -hmm. And then shortest pass is somewhat reachability problem. Now, because we are trying to minimize the cost at that time, mm -hmm. so we, we can re reduce it to a similar problem, which is shortest pass mm -hmm. and a minimization problem. I don't see it. Any didn't optimization he here? Didn't you say we have to use a gradient algorithm? Or just no, he said, he, he said oh, dynamic, dynamic programming. Okay, dynamic programming. Well, uh, mm -hmm. is this is certain for one dimensional stellar automata that uh, uh, certain bits in the previous step can determine one bit in the next step? Is it certain? You can use one to one mapping. So, I mean, this certain bit means, say, in our textbook, there are yeah, three bits. Yeah. But, but it seems like there's on, always more. I mean, it can be one to one map, but never be one to three so, mapping. I, I mean, uh, constant constant bits. Yeah, it's constant. Okay. It's because the ruler, ruler de determines this. Determine constant bits. How depend? It can be, I mean, one row is using two neighbors, the other one is using. Larger one, but they're set. They don't change over the time. Uh, even the piece? No. Yeah, I mean. Then they must be the same, right? Say so if I want to use three bits determine one bit, they must be all the same. Oh, all I see. The, all there will be contradiction. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. You're you're right. That, that's the formal definition. Because here are some variations, yeah, you can you can specifically say this this digit is going to use. I mean something will arrive. Here, here is a point. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's just one example that with a neighbor size of three. Mm -hmm. Possibly, possibly all will be five. You know, all will be four. That's possible, but I don't think that's kind of good idea. Yeah, the, the point is the rule are applicable universally to all of the individual cells. They are equally treated. Yeah. 
So it is a predecessor, right? That means that you are reversing backwards, right? Mm -hmm. Turn that, right? So reversing backwards. Yeah, backward, right? you're going backwards. So from the T step where you are, and the, you're trying to figure out what the T minus 1 step is, right? Yes. Idea. Uh, I have to build a. Uh, let's say this is our uh, our key key stuff. Mm -hmm. I have one zero one. One zero, one zero one, like this, and uh, we build as t minus one stuff as uh, zero. So all the first line is zero, and all the second line is one. Say so for for each bit, say so <coughs> here here's one, we find every possible. That one in the center. Okay. Say, I need, I need a book. Say, what's a condition we can get one is, say, O O one means for this for this bit, O O one is we get this O and this. We get the O O and O one like this. And uh, O1, 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 is like this. And uh, build all these puzzles. And uh, then, can there will be a, a net like this? And uh, we we'll use here. This is the end. And we we'll use here. This is the start. This is the wider start cut, which is the end. Is whether there is a solution. I didn't quite, quite listen to you. So, so. why does this work? So, so, what are the two strings? One, zero, zero. This is the second step. Okay. This is the first step. Mm -hmm. the, the first line of the first step is all zero. Oh, really? The second line is all one. All ones? It's okay. all ones. And, uh, for a certain bit, so this bit, we just care, this is one, we just care how we can build a one from all these three bits. Say this three bits. Do you have a darker marker? It doesn't look like it's showing up very well. Okay. Oh, no, thanks. Yeah. And is it zero? Cap? Yeah, that cap. You can use that wide end, use the big end, it'll show up there. Okay. Yeah, we will be fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Say, 
uh, that, that's all possible ways to satisfy this bit, mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah, yeah. So how can I satisfy this two bit? Is we can find a path from here to here. And we don't care. We don't care. You can use a bigger the, N. The other two bits, what, huh? You can use a fatter N. Okay. And we, we don't care whether this one is 0 and 1, and whether this one is 0 and 1. But we care they must be the same. So if this one is start from here, we couldn't use it. Another path start from here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so how do you determine zero is a pass in between? Only when. It's reachability, right? Here to here. Okay. It's a reachability question. But how, when did you add an edge in those nodes? Okay. So from from the rule, we, we must have a rule. Okay. Here we use the three bit rule. Mm -hmm. that's, that's for example, okay. four bit is okay, five bit is okay. Yeah. Right? They are infinite, right? Mm -hmm. Constant time. So for the rule, say, we determine this, uh, this one. This one is is a one, right? Yeah, zero. What can satisfy four this possible. bit is, is one. Yes, four possibles, and we build it from this this bit to this bit. Oh, I see. Build four four possible paths passes. Okay. Okay, and uh, we use this one. Our build four possible passes. They couldn't be con contra contradict. But I mean, yeah, I see what you're doing here, but only one bit shifted. It seems like if zero is in pass from stat to n, uh, what I'm wondering here is like, if this one possible rule, let's say, some possible rule like this here, mm -hmm. and for, for this bit, it, it takes the other rule here. So it's kind of a contradiction here. Which no, no, we, 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 can't, we can't use We can't use this one. Because you cannot go back, and you cannot go oh. from here to here. So actually, when you're done with the first bit, you're kind of based on second bit, updating the possible rules. Is that what you mean? I mean, for example, if 0, 0, 1 will lead to 1, but if we'll, this pass is not compatible with this bit, so this yeah. pass is erased. Is that what we mean? Uh, you mean? You, you, can, you cannot erase them, but they are useless. Let's say, if, if, if there is no, no such a pass, what's the meaning of you build one? And then no such a pass, what's the meaning of you build one from the zero? You cannot reach the point. So even you build one, it doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, let's say one, one possible route for this bit one is zero, zero, one. And for this one is one, zero, zero. Not a good if, if, if the rule is like this, you couldn't reach here. Because for this one is zero, zero, one, right? And for this one is from one, but you didn't reach one. Oh, let's, say, let's say there's another rule here. Yes, so you can. So zero, one, zero. Yeah, you can do that. Oh, I see. So if there is a path, that means for each bit, you can get three, this three bit satisfied. Is it right? Yeah, so that kind of contradiction actually means there's no such route. Sound, sounds reasonable. If there are multiple passes, that means you, are, you have multiple solutions. That's also possible, right? Because you could I think we can say that we're and from many kinds of previous steps from this certain step. Just like and if, if there is no path, not rich rituals from start to end, that means you have no solution. But still, I, I don't know if we can say that. That's not. Yeah, but so let's we, we, we see. Can, we can say the, the string is short there this time because it depends on the function. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is a directed graph. You can't go back. Okay. That'll always happen. Um, what?
Why? Because you're in this case, in this condition, if you time it, you time it, so. What happened if I have another? Okay, no. It seems to be this always, yes? Yeah. Okay. And if you don't have... Okay, what I'm saying here is... Let's see. Let's see. What is... They need to somehow impact. It seems like... Some number of bits. Still... To get some value. Two more overlapping here. It's still going to reduce it down. What if, let's say, one is like this, zero, zero, one, and the other is possibly like this, zero, zero, one, again, okay? It seems it should be incompatible, right? Why is it incompatible? Because for this one, you need this one to be the pass. And for this one, that sort of, you know, jump it over, you know, skip it. I know what you mean. It seems like, you know, even if you're a pass, it's not a guarantee that both of them will be satisfied. Yeah, I because the rule is certain for each bit. Yeah. So you can draw this graph, but perhaps this cannot be hashed. Cannot but, have but this is exactly what's happening, right? Well, let's assume that one is only possible yeah. with zero, zero, one. The other all zeros. Oh, that one. OK. That's kind of valid rule, right? Uh, that's kind of valid rule, right? But in this case, you're making a, a pass, but actually it's, it's not, there's no possible, I see, predecessors. I think we, we need sort of a little bit change here that, uh, to make something like this possible. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Just, just make those. Yeah, skip okay. Uh, two before, or three before, whatever you want. Uh, you can't look in the you know, this direction. Mm -hmm. but you you have, have to go. I, I think just feel like this one. Is, is okay. So we have, uh, you have no links between. We have, we have for previous step. We have six, six lines. Zero one, zero one, zero one. Okay. We have, Six steps, and this one marks the prior. This one marks the next, and then zero one zero one zero one. There will will be a pass from here to here, from here to here. That's the only pass between these columns. We mean this. Hmm? You mean this is the. This is one bit, right? The upper is t minus one. R is p t minus one. Okay. And the lower is t. Right? This is one bit. This is one bit. This is one bit. For each bit, we have six groups. Okay. Okay. Why is it six? Hmm? Why is it six? Because you need to mark uh, the previous step and the next step. Zero, one, from here, here. That's what And that's the What do you mean? Are, are these rules? No, these are no, not rules. These are built be, before the rules are built. So we, 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 use, we build this graph. This cannot be reached, right? OK. This cannot be reached at the first. And we add. The edges here. Why we build this one? This can make it satisfy the last bit of the of this bit and the next bit from this bit. Is the same of no not draw like this. It should be draw like like this. Next bit of this one is the same as this one. And uh, the previous. 
Oh, I see. I see what you mean. From, from this one. one. I think it's compared to them. Right? Yeah. Oh, perhaps we can no. limit yeah. one, uh, this group or this group. Where are the cis? Because they are the same using. This can make this satisfy that uh, all, all the are right. compatible. The rules between all these are compatible. So So you're, you're saying you're actually remembering one or two neighboring states so that just we can kind, of, kind of sort of chain them together. So yeah, so, so then how, how are you going to do with this example? Just add two, two rows onto that. Let's see how, it, how it's working. Uh, I think to make it a little bit easier, we're not simply <laughs> making so something confusing here. But instead, we make make other possible states like like this one that, that we said is we just make a node here that which is zero zero one, right? And the other one is whatever. Give me another example. Zero one zero, okay. And the connectors are zero one zero. And for this one, we put zero zero one, one zero zero. And okay. it is all the possible neighborhood configurations. Compare two bits, you mean? Yeah, and when will it be a link? Only when the first two, the last two of the previous one and the first two yes. will match, you add a link there. Not this one, but <laughs> definitely this one. There will be a link between the two, right? Yeah. And there will be bounded by the number of rules, the size of the mm. number of nodes in each, for each cell will be bounded by the number of rules. Let's say it's, it's n. And the whole number of is, well, it's more n, I don't know. So it's still polynomial, right? Polynomial yes. number of nodes out here. And then it becomes a reachability problem, which can, which is can be solved like in P. In P, yeah. So it's P, so, so it's still in P. Does that sound good? Yeah. But the all possible is to typically there's eight possible, each row is going to be eight. Yeah, the here it will be bounded by two to the three, right? Right. And then whenever you see... But it's constant, right? Because the rule, rule is, side of a rule is not growing. The rule is fine. What is the equilibrium state? What equilibrium state?
So whenever you go to the next T-stamp, that's when you make a link between two. Yeah, only when the last two, bit, last two bits of the previous step matches the first two bits of the next step. Um, not next so step. So shift it. N the next position, there will be a direct directed edge. Why is that? Why do the two have to match? Because that's why those two are compatible. Yeah. Right. You can, like the, in, in this case, oh. it will be zero, zero, one, zero. That's right. You need to one, one. Yeah. Right? If you, if you use one bit, you need to compare two. Yeah, yeah. Query, query's version is actually compared only one bit, right? That's yeah. not, that's not enough. For, for uh, between two bits, you must compare two. Yeah. If, if you use that, it has uh, mm -hmm. zero, zero, one is the first Oh, two. one. And okay. <coughs> the second two would be zero, mm -hmm. one, zero. But that, that's for this specific case. So we have to say that for a general case. Well, you, you just, for any given state, say, A, Right. Uh, a prime, right? Is it mm -hmm. a, we, we're looking for A prime, right? Yeah. Given any A, we can build this reachability graph in polynomial time and solve it, right? Mm -hmm. That's that's all what he's asking. The, the the whole argument here is building a graph first for yes. a specific pro, pro problem and solve it. Mm -hmm. So if it's a different problem, we'll build another graph. Just but we use the same algorithm. Yeah. <coughs> so I'm just wondering, what, what is the dy dynamic programming approach? Or oh, it was too rich. Yeah. You're not using dynamic programming here, right? So you use dynamic programming? <laughs> Let, let's work on the rest first. I don't know. <laughs> it's almost three. Are we going back to the? Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, to the top line. Sure. Yeah. I'm going there. Hope that is there. Mm -hmm. Hope that is there. Is does he have any? No, he's greater than someone else. Where are you going? I have to pick up my homework. Yeah. I hand it back last time. Half graded, but actually, okay. because I handed it electronically, okay. each grader printed its own version and grade graded separately. So I actually have to pick up two copies of my homework. For this course, yeah, for this course, you got you got two grades, right? Yes. Yeah. Paper. Because because you handed handed hand 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 so they have to you know. Oh, I know. All the way back to the electronic version. Uh, I emailed it. Yeah. How did you get? He he mailed back to you or? No. You um, went to his office. In the stack, there were two two papers in there. Yeah, the good uh, Oh, guess I just uh, I just missed it. No, you only got one. No, no, I, I, I'm actually not looking for the second one. You know, oh. as soon as I find this first one, uh, you, you left. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. Zero, actually, you know. I didn't either. But putting on separate copies. <laughs> Mine were close by, and I saw it. So. Oh, <laughs> that's yeah. Cool. Probably. And, yeah, I think those two that probably you brought more. Yeah, probably it was zero, but I'm, I, I, I was just not looking for it. <laughs> I didn't come on Thursday. <laughs> Oh, Thursday, you brought one stack. Oh, and that's I think it's Tuesday. Okay. Another stack. So, where's the stack? Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Where's Blue? I don't know. I'm sure it is. Uh, uh, let's when go, did they go say that? <laughs> Last month. Really? I didn't even get it. I set you. I set up the your your account to send a copy of that and you get my point point two. Okay, so I check in here. Mm -hmm. He's not the pen. He's not the pen. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y